insect repellent. Oh, Jesus, actually stings, that's why. Oh, my mouth is gonna be watering the whole time. Uh, ready for an adventure? Wherever you are on this amazing little island, even if you're stuck working nine to five, there's always a way to go outside and play. Now look, I know life can get busy, work, college, whatever it is, but is it possible to step away from it all, even just for a few hours? Today I'm attempting to flip my work routine on its head. I've worked my nine to five from home, and now I'm ready for a five to nine adventure. So the challenge I've set myself is to get out here, wild camp for the night, and be back on my desk for nine o'clock tomorrow morning, which I think is doable. Look, let's see, buzzing to get out in the outdoors. It's been a while. What could go on? Oh! I'm getting eaten alive by midges. Get up, get up, get up! I'm on my way to Glen Barrow, County Leash, a stunning hidden gem in the Schlieve Bloom Mountains. I've actually never been here before, so it's kind of adds the excitement to the whole thing, but if you are planning on doing this kind of five to nine adventure thing, you want to make sure you pick somewhere that's close enough to home, that's not going to take you ages to get here, so this only took an hour for me to get to. And you also, if you want to try and catch the night sky, try and pick somewhere that's remote enough because you don't want any light pollution. But at the same time, you could just do this outside your back garden. So one of the reasons why I picked this place is it's actually gorgeous here in Glen Barrow and there's loads of stuff to see along the way before we even get to our campsite. So I think we have a bit of time, so I'm gonna check that out first. Come here, I think there might be a waterfall up here. Told you there was a waterfall. Knew, knew it. The David Attenborough in me knew there was a waterfall. So one of the best things about doing this in Ireland during the summer months is the fact that it stays bright so late. Like it's eight o'clock now and it's still completely bright. Still have a couple of hours of good daylight left, but probably is time now to make a move and find a good campsite. I've never wild camped before and I wanted to make sure I was doing it the right way and it turns out there is a right way of doing it. And there's a thing called the leave no trace code. So basically it's a set of guidelines to make sure that wherever you go, you leave it exactly the way that you found it. Now, I did a little bit of research before I got here online just to try and see if there was any good camping spots around. And I'm pretty sure there's a decent one somewhere around here. Um, um, With views like this, I know that no matter where I pick, it's gonna be a great spot to camp for the night. Okay, hang on, it's half nine. Get dark about 10, you should probably get, probably get camp set up pretty quick. Perfect. Right, where is the tent, I hear you ask? Uh -huh. Well, this here thing is called a bivy bag. Now, this is essentially a tent that just goes over your sleeping bag, and I decided to ditch the tent to increase my chances of seeing the stars. Now, it's a little bit cloudy, so I'm not sure if the stars is gonna happen, but this thing is meant to be waterproof, so, I mean, baby bag in Ireland should be, it, sh it should be okay. <laughs> Now, obviously, one of the things I mentioned earlier was the leave no trace kind of guide to camping. One of the main parts of it is about fire. And to be honest with you, setting up a big campfire is never generally a great idea, uh, unless you know exactly what you're doing. Uh, and I definitely don't know what I'm doing. So this is like a little gas stove thing. And see, the good thing about this is it's raised off the ground, so I'm not going to, I can't really do much damage to me or anything. Now, if you could have anything to eat tonight, what would it be? Um, a three in one. A three in one. You're not getting a three in one. You're getting the next best thing, which is cheese and broccoli pasta. Moron proof. 
just... Who needs a cooker in the gaff? Look at this yoke. Everything... Oh, hang on. Oh, no. Someone's loving Kumbaya. Starting to rain. Not a chance of seeing a bloody star. Fab. That is perfect. Now... Another plus of camping is you're off the hook with washing up. Washing utensils in rivers and lakes is a big no. So the best thing you can do, if you can, is to bring your stuff home and wash it there. Or if you have to wash it while you're out, use your own bottles of water and biodegradable soap. So I have my sleeping bag underneath this. I, there's no graceful way to do this, so I'm just I'm gonna have to be quick because otherwise everything's gonna get soaking. There we go. Oh yeah, there we are. I'm having a wonderful time. Oh Carl, make a program about wild camping and don't use a tent, because that's a brilliant idea. Ah, yeah, cool, no problem, guys. Kneel down. Right back. The main parts of my body are dry. Um, so yeah, no, it's it's okay. Wild camping, woo. What time yet now? Just after 12. Sun rises about five, half five. So I'm sure we'll be awoken up to a gorgeous morning birds singing, beautiful, dry, warm morning. All the excitement of waterfalls, getting lost and cooking dinner and nearly setting myself on fire, it has me wrecked. Time for bed. Good morning. It's half six. Um, it rained for a good bit of the night, but I have to say the bivy bag actually did a pretty good job. I'm, I'm completely dry and that's the main thing. So I just think this was a really, really memorable way to spend the night. So I'll be doing it again. Now we've taken everything with us. Hi. Yeah. Back to the office or the house. Well, this certainly beats my usual morning commute. There's something quite magical about waking up in a place like this on a work morning. It almost feels against the rules or something. Five to nine adventures will definitely become a more regular activity for me. It's amazing what's possible when you step outside your usual routine. Actually, speaking of which, I better get back to work. And there you have it. It's nine o'clock, I'm back on my desk, ready to get stuck into another day's work, which luckily for me means planning the next adventure.